All right, the future is now the number one prospect in baseball, maybe the most hyped baseball prospect we've had since Bryce Harper all those years ago. Jackson Holiday will be making his MLB debut for the Baltimore Orioles. Holiday, the number one overall pick back in 2022 out of high school, and he's got good pedigree. He's the son of former seven time All Star four-time Silver Slugger, and World Series champion Matt Holiday. Kind of reminds me of that Griffey Sr., Griffey Jr. type combo. So he's got great genetics going for him. But Holiday, fresh out of high school, and he has torn it up since being drafted number one overall. 125 games a season ago through three levels of minor league ball, hitting 323, a 442 on base, a 499 slugging with 12 homers, 75 RBIs, 30 doubles. He's got a great mix of power and speed, but he blew up this spring trading for the Orioles and the hype was real. Everyone was on it. Everyone was expecting him to make the opening day roster. Now the Orioles sent him down there for 10 games. There are some reasons possibly why they did it, but he absolutely tore up AAA in 10 games, hitting 333, a 482 on base, 595 slugging, two homers, nine RBIs, 18 runs scored. He just finds ways to produce production for you out there. Orioles finally giving him the call. Now, maybe they sent him down because he was drafted as a shortstop, but they already have a young top guy at shortstop in Gunnar Henderson, another generational type prospect for them. They're going to put Holiday at second base, so he's been playing at second base at AAA, trying to get him reps, trying to make sure he is defensively ready for that job there at the Major Leagues because the Orioles' second basemen have been pretty bad this year, hitting just 206. Not a lot of production for them. But this is the culmination of the project of the Orioles. The Orioles were bad for a long, long time. They've drafted exceptionally well. They have a fresh young crop of superstar potential prospects. We saw some of them come up last year. I'm talking Henderson, Adlai Rushman behind the dish. And they won the division for the first time in nine years last year. Now, unfortunately, they got swept by the Rangers in the divisional series. But sometimes you got to take your lumps in the postseason before you can finally break through. But the hype is real around Holiday. Can he possibly live up to the expectations that have been set forth upon him? I mean, the hype is insane. Like I said, he's probably the most hype prospect since we've seen with since Bryce Harper. Normally, there's kind of, you know differences in opinion on certain outlets on who's the number one overall prospect not with holiday he's the consensus number one across everything you're gonna read he's absolutely the guy for them so those are tall shoes to fill i just i find it really hard that he could possibly be as good as advertised because they're honestly advertising this kid as he is a 15 year 12 time all-star Hall of Fame career, bringing multiple titles back to Baltimore. And I just think it's impossible to live up to that hype. But I don't know, man. If you listen to what people say, what people talk about, he's got all the tools there needed to be successful. He carries himself with a chip on his shoulder. Not a kind of guy, you know, some guys you go in, your dad's a baseball player, you grow up in a nice lifestyle, you get soft, you get spoiled, you get entitled. I feel like some baseball players, especially the baseball culture in America, breeds entitlement not holiday he's a grinder he goes at it every day he wants to win he wants to be great so that's a big time plus for this kid i do love that he's only 20 years old so he's got to fill out a little bit more he's got a lot of gap to gap power got to work on putting that ball over the fence but he's going to grow into his body he is just 20 years old not ecstatic about his potential here as a Yankees fan, I don't want to have to be facing this Orioles team for years to come because it looks like they've put together an elite core of young players topped off by Holiday. There's a lot of pressure on this kid, but when you grow up in ballparks all your life, you tend to feel comfortable in those situations. Now, his little brother might even be better than him. We're probably going to have a video on him sooner than rather than later. Probably going to be the number one overall pick in the MLB draft this year as he's a senior. But shout out to certain people in the baseball world. More importantly, longtime baseball reporter Buster Olney calling his shot all the way back in 2013. Holiday was nine years old making the call. Matt Holiday's son, future all-star 
guy. A little early to say that, isn't it? I've seen him hit. I'll stand by the tweet. Talk about tweets that have aged well. I find it hard to believe that Holiday won't make an all-star game in his career. The move is a little interesting. The Orioles are calling him up. He still had some time left where if they didn't promote him, they would have got a seventh year of control on Holiday before they would have to pay him. But they call him up. If he is able to win Rookie of the Year this year, the Orioles will receive an extra draft pick. The yeah, the MLB Players Association wanted to avoid these situations. We have a weird rules when it comes to control and contract in baseball where teams would keep guys down and not call them up early because they wanted extra control, which is Bush League shit. The Cubs most famously did that with Chris Bryant back in 2015, and we're trying to avoid that. So good on the Orioles, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is he going to make it? Is he going to live up to, for the hype? Or is he going to be one of the biggest busts we have ever seen in the history of baseball? Because that's honestly all that it will ever be if he's not a multi-time all-star and a staple in MLB lineups for the next 10 to 15 years. But let me know what you guys think. If you haven't already, drop a quick like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. We got new sports content every single day. If you want to support the channel more, sign up for a channel membership. You get all sorts of cool perks, access to exclusive videos, help support me, allows me to keep making this great stuff for you guys every single day. Again, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.